All right, hello everyone, and welcome to another section um, of the Netisha Block um, tutorials. So, in today, we're going to be taking a look at how to back up your WordPress website to cloud storage using uh, the free options. Of course, there are different ways that you could back up your website to uh, to cloud, your WordPress website to cloud, and in which some of these options are actually premium, while some of them are free. So, in this particular tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at how to uh, back up your WordPress website to cloud storage for absolutely free. So in order to get started, so in this case, I want to generate a WordPress instance, which is simply um, making use of this WP that enabled me to generate a WordPress instance almost immediately. So uh, this is going to uh, enable me to skip through uh, many phases of having to set up a local WordPress website or having to purchase a, a domain name and hosting. So I'm going to set up a new WordPress website now by simply visiting this WP.com and then click on set it up now. So now my WordPress website is going to start generating with an instance and um, in few minutes or seconds. So now I have my WordPress website uh, start up. So I'm going to, uh, the next thing I'm going to do is click on access it now to access the dashboard of the website okay so now this is the uh, wordpress website dashboard that i want to take a look at to uh to use as our expert for our experimental purposes so in this case i i have my wordpress website uh, which is a blank website and uh so it's simply a blank website uh, so i'm going to make some few editing by um deactivating some plugins that i'm not making use of so i'm going to deactivate all plugins deactivate and even delete them i i like having a clean slate so delete i'm going to go to the pages delete it delete sample pages and let me check if i have a sample post delete this as well and comments okay perfect and uh I'm also going to change the website name to uh, so let me just call it um, demo website so just another demo site by net social block all right perfect so I have this uh, demo website and uh to in order for us to be able to work with something quite interesting so i'm going to make use of astra uh starter template to generate um a, 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 to quickly generate a team and um a wordpress website so that's not going that's going to take uh just few seconds or some few minutes so let me do that and then we'll start all right so now i have um my demo website here, which is uh, simply an outdoor, outdoor adventure website of a demo page with um, all of these awesome effects and uh, pictures and styling. It's simply uh, a website for an outdoor adventure and it's made up of dummy content and dummy test and all the like just for experimental purpose. So, and now what we now wanted to do is that we want to learn how to back up our WordPress website to cloud storage. So back up is simply meaning um, taking a backup of your website just in case of future preference. And let's start first with why should you back up your um, website? So let's start first with why should you back up your website? So backing up your website uh, adds a lot of benefits and which one of them is simply preventing you against um, future um, damages. So let's say for instance, you happen in the nearest future, you happen to install a particular plugin, maybe to add a new functionality to your website. And in the course of process of installing and setting up this WordPress, this plugin on your website, your website happens to crash down. So in this case, it might be a little bit hard to revive your website if you don't have an up-to-date backup on your website. So when you are back up your website, you are simply having um you, you are having a plan b just in case something happens to your website in the future so with this backup you can easily restore your website to 
uh in, in case if something happens to happen to your website in the future so now that we understood the reason why you should back up your website so now let's take a look at why you should back up your website using the cloud storage so if you want to back up your website you can either do it the local way which is where you back up your website and download an offline copy on your local computer so the second one is backing up your website to cloud storage so why should you back up to your cloud storage instead of local computer so the first reason why you should back up your website to cloud storage is that when you back up your website to cloud storage it is easier to manage that is you can have your system here in the, your maybe your country and you travel to another place you can easily access it from another computer simply because your website is back up on the cloud storage and the second thing is you don't have to worry about um your uh you, you don't have to worry about safety so if you are using your local computer as a backup means your web your, your backup system maybe your local computer or your external hard drive could get corrupt and those cripple your backup but in this case when you are making use of cloud storage you are assured that instead of you having to worry about taking care of your backup system so the uh company or the uh the, the platform you are using to as a cloud storage will be the one taking care of all of that so the third reason is also that it's safe storage so as long as you are having a um a, a, your website it's so each and you using your local computer so that means you are using another space on your local computer those um consuming enough space on your um, on your system but when you're using a cloud storage you are not the one actually um you are not using resources on your local computer but you are using resources of another platform so these three reasons and so many other reasons are the reason why you should uh, back up your website on cloud storage so the next part that we're going to be taking a look at is how to back up your website to cloud storage so now we are going um how to back up your wordpress website to cloud storage so the next part that we're going to be taking a look at is how to back up your website to cloud storage so there are different ways that you can do this like i earlier mentioned at the start of this uh tutorial video so the best way that i want to, to recommend here is making use of a, a particular plugin called the um updraft so updraft is a backup plugin that enables you to back up your website and it also provides different means that you can back up your website that is either you could back up locally or you back up to cloud storage so now that we are uh, convinced about the uh, what backup is and how we can back up uh, and why you should back up to cloud storage so let's go into the practical aspect of how to back up your wordpress website to cloud storage so the first thing the first step that you are going to do is going to your wordpress dashboard which is something similar to the back end of your website and then click on the plugins and click on add new so in this case like i mentioned we want to make use of a particular plugin called updraft so i'm going to click on plugins click on add new then when it takes me to the add new page i'm going to search for a plugin called updraft updraft u p d r a f t so here i have the updraft wordpress backup plugin and it has um a logo that sounds similar something like you so when you go to there then click on install now so upon clicking on install now it's going to start the installation process and now you have the plugin installed so the next step you are going to do is click on activate that is you want to activate the plugin on your um website so then now you have the uh this is something like a wizard setup something like a quick setup that you know that simply walk you to if this is your first time of using it on how to use it so it's said welcome to upload the world's most trusted backup plugin press there to start so when you click on press there to start you have a lot of options here you have a lot of options that you can make use of and as i want to make this youtube um youtube tutorial i want to make it as beginner friendly as possible so for now i'm going to tell you not to worry too much about all of the features that you are seeing on this screen since what we want to majorly do here is we simply want to back up our website and not just back up our website we want to be back up it to our cloud storage so the first thing you are going to do is notice the first thing you are going to do is not to click on backup now immediately you get to this screen the first thing you wanted to do is you want to ensure that your backup 
you are backing up your website with cloud storage so the first thing you are that you are going to do is you click on the settings tab which is the top tab that you are seeing here so when you click on settings tab you have a lot of options here but our main focus for this tutorial uh, is to back up to storage so now when you get here you see something that said choose your remote storage so we have different cloud storage that you can make use of there we have the updraft for we have the uh, microsoft one drive we have the web dev we have the drop browser the ftp the s3 compatible generic amazon s3 microsoft azure p cloud rackspace cloud file sftp for slash scp openstack google drive google cloud dream object backplace and email so this means that you can actually choose any of these options to back up your website to cloud storage but mean for particularly uh i'm more familiar with um microsoft one drive drop browser google drive and um i think i'm a little bit familiar with uh okay email as well so of course these other options are also fantastic and you can use them but for this fake of this tutorial so i'm going to let us choose the um i'm going to uh recommend or you can just let's start with um the google drive so in this case let's say i want to make google drive my cloud storage that is anytime you are backing up your website you want to send a copy of this backup to google drive so with that even if something happens to your uh, laptop or your desktop and you happen to make or maybe you travel to another place you can use any system that you have access there log into your wordpress dashboard from that system connect your google drive account to your website and you simply restore all of the backup of your website from that other system so in this case let's say i want to back up to google drive then the first thing you are going to do is click on google drive so when you click on google drive scroll down a bit and then the first thing you wanted to do is authenticate with google because of course you can't just simply click on google drive and expect it to back up to uh, google drive just like that without connecting it to a particular account that you want to make use of so after clicking on the option here so in this case google drive the next thing that you are going to eat you scroll down a bit and then click on save changes so when you click on save changes it's going to pop up that you should select you have selected a remote storage option which has an authorization step to complete then you, now so you follow this link to authorize access to your google drive account because of course you said you, you, you know we selected the option of backing up to our google drive so now the authorization step is to connect our google account to this website so then click on sign in with google so when you click on sign in with google then it's going to bring you to this page which is where i'm not going to sign in with my i'm going to enter my login details and uh sign in here so for the sake of security i'm just going to pause this video here and enter my login details so that of course i don't want you to see my login details all right so now i've successfully uh actually the the next step that i uh, that skip just past is just to simply you know for security purpose i'm trying to um i'm logging into my google account and i don't want you to see the login details so the the, the, the step that i skip is actually very straightforward all you have to do is just enter your um, google login details and you connect the account it's with simply with 10 seconds you should be able to done with all of that so this screen is going to show you it's going to be shown to you after you have successfully completed the authorization part at least you've logged into your account and connect up to it so once you are done with this part then you're not going to say to complete setup for google drive you should press the button below that is you should click on complete setup so this part is now going to take you back to the dashboard of the account so when i click on complete setup it's going to take me back to the website so this is the dashboard so, and you are also going to receive this email that sources you've authenticated your google drive account name the name of your account your google drive code store storage that is the storage that you have used from that account and then it's telling me that i still have about 14 gig free for my uh google drive storage so which is in the google drive above the um i think 15 gig in total so it's telling me that I still have 14 gig free there from there so when you receive this notification the rest are sure that you've successfully completed or time connecting your google drive account so i'm going to click on save changes again just to be very sure and then when you are done with that now you click on backup slash restore and now you cannot click on backup now because of course you've successfully connected your account so click on backup now so now you have some options there and you want to uh this three option is going to be selected by default 
send this packet to remote storage you can decide whether you want to send it to remote storage or not and then the final one is only allow this packet to be delet ma deleted manually that is if you want to still keep this backup even after your retention limits are done so you can click on this box so for now I, I i think i don't need it so i'm just going to leave it as it is so then click on backup now and when you click on backup now it's going to start processing your backup so now it's that started and let's let's wait and see how it's going to be completed okay so now that i'm going to start the backup again so now so now it's, it's it has started backing up the entire site and it's also uploading the files to remote storage creating file backup sites so depending on how large your website is it's going to uh, show you the process and the notification so now it's it's creating all of that and now it's you are going to receive this that the backup has finished running so now you have your so now that's how to back up your website to cloud storage so and that is all you need to know about backing up your website to cloud storage so but let's the final part i'm going to talk about is what how to restore your backup website how to restore your backup from cloud storage of course if you want to restore your uh wordpress website backup If you want to restore your backup one process i back up from uh cloud storage so let's say you finally back up this website and in the future you install the plugin that could put your website so how do you do that you can do that by simply installing installing the updraft plugins then next part is going to settings connect your google drive account the same method that we uh followed when we are making the backup then when you scroll down here you are going to have some you are going to see your backup which are the, the backup details which is the backup date that is which is uh, of course today you're going to see all of this backup data you're also going to see the actions then all you have to do is simply click on restore now and it's going to restore all your backup website to from where you backup last to the present so that's all you need to know about backing up your website WordPress website to cloud storage for absolutely free if you have any questions or are encountering any issues why doing why following any of this step feel free to leave a comment on this video and don't forget to like and subscribe see you next time bye